Hello guys. You know, about a month ago, my husband's stepfather died and he was a really important person to my husband. He was a great father and he was a great man. Everyone loved him. We all loved him so much. He was actually a really strong father figure to a lot of people in his community. So we went out to California uh, for the funeral. He was a veteran and we got to experience a really touching military service. And uh, when we got back, my church members presented my husband with this really beautiful gift. It's a lantern and uh, it's really nice. It's something that they did to help him remind him of his father. So we're gonna go out to the garden, get some flowers and some nice things and hopefully come up with a, a beautiful memorial for um, my husband in honor of his father. Now one of the first things I wanted to do was to get a plaque or a memorial stone with an inscription. I was going to order one just like this one, but it was going to take a while and I wanted to have this done before Father's Day. So I got an idea of how to make one of my own. I went to Home Depot and I picked up a small square pather stone from the garden section and I picked up a piece of ceramic towel and I glued those two pieces together with epoxy glue. Then I used transparency printing paper to print out an inscription that would fit inside the towel. I had a little 4x6 frame that I got from the Dollar Tree and I thought I could use the glass piece to help cover and protect the inscription. So I cut the printed inscription piece just a little bit smaller than the glass piece and I'm going to use an old brush and brush on epoxy over the glass piece. I'm going to brush the entire piece because I think I want to cement the inscription into the, um, onto the glass and onto the tile. I want to waterproof the inscription and seal the inscription onto the glass, onto the stone, and um, seal it around the edges. And hopefully this will work. I'm going to center that right over the inscription and press down. And then I'm going to wipe up the excess glue around the edges. I'm going to get a small piece that fits inside the glass piece and then I'm going to set a book on top of that just to add a little weight to um, keep the glass piece pressed down until the glue dries. While I was at Home Depot I picked out some nice flowers for the memorial spot. At Big Lots I found this nice shepherd's hook with a solar lamp attached to the top. I'm going to use this to hang the lantern. I cleared out an area around the pole and I planted this tall colored grass right in the center to give it a little height around the pole. While we were in California, we brought back this plant from my husband's family's garden. My husband loved this plant so I wanted to surprise him and plant it in the memorial. This will definitely remind him of his father. These may grow up pretty tall so I'm planting them in the back along the fence. They would often call my father-in-law the gentle giant. He was a big man with a big spirit, but he was very kind and caring. These flowers remind me of him. They are a breed of the Veronica longifolia blue giant. I'm planting these on both sides of the center plant, and hopefully they'll grow tall and strong like his spirit. Under the partial shade of the grass, I'm going to plant some blue Danube. The memorial plaque will go right in front of those flowers. And I'm adding this bronze solar light to shine at night right above the plaque so you can read it. 
I picked out this basket of flowers. It had a nice arrangement of flowers that I really like. And I'm going to use that to plant a semicircle of flowers around the front of the memorial. So I took the flowers out of the basket and I'm just sort of unrolling it open so I can break the flowers apart and plant them around in a semicircle. So to finish it off, I added mulch and some rocks and I lit the candle and the lantern. And I think this turned out to be a really nice memorial that my husband will love. I know my husband's really thankful for his father, but I'm thankful for him too because he helped to raise a really great man in my husband. We have been married for over 27 years now. And through all of those years, he has consistently been the strong, devoted center of our family. Because of this man, my children are the most blessed and happiest kids in the world. He's worked hard just to make sure they have the space to explore all their dreams. He's taken us on countless adventures and opened us up to the world. He's been an excellent role model. He's been there for guidance. He's been a friend. I said to my son, oh, your dad asked you to cut the grass today. He said, no, he didn't ask. I just thought it needed to be done. I couldn't get to the dishes last night, but before this one started his work this morning, he had the kitchen clean and the dishes done. It's a really great feeling when you can look at your kids and know that they can see a need and decide, I can do something about this. And they do it just because it's the right thing to do. And to know that all those little great things they have inside of them, they learn from example. Our children have grown to be beautiful, strong, and they believe anything is possible. And most importantly, they have great, kind, and giving hearts, just like their father. Okay, come up here. I want to show you what I did in honor of your father. That's really nice. Wow, you put back down on the too. Mm-hmm. Can you read it? Yeah. In memory of Alan Johnson, our strong, kind, and caring father. Your light will forever shine in our hearts. That's really nice. Baby. <laughs> the light is something you can see from the deck. And I planted the flowers in the back. That's really nice. The <laughs> so here we honor Alan Johnson, a great father, because great fathers raise and inspire great men who make a difference in all of our lives. <laughs>